Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2020 Is It In The Cards love reading. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I hope you are all enjoying your season. Happy birthday to all of you. And you're, it's a beautiful time of year, isn't it? And thank you so much to all of you for everything you do for the channel, from just watching the readings to liking videos to subscribing. I do appreciate it. And also for sharing your energy with me so I can even do the readings. Thank you for doing that. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. I post new readings every Friday. And I typically post again on either Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just check back in a couple of days or check a different part of your chart here. I don't do personal readings right now. I don't have the time. But if that ever changes, I'll make an announcement on the channel and let everybody know, okay? So let's get the messages for Scorpio about love. What does Scorpio need to know in love? What advice do you have for Scorpio, please? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, let me just do one more. It feels a little weird. Okay, there we go. So we'll do our tarot reading that will consist of pulling three cards for you, three cards for the person you're attracting, and three cards for the advice. Then we'll do our Angel Answers Oracle card readings and get a timeline and a yes and or no. I like this. You've got the Empress, Strength, and the Four of Cups. They have the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Your advice is the Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, I really like this. I feel like right away I felt like they're leaving something. There's somebody here. It's either like a divorce or like a pretty serious relationship, or it's possible that they're like going to leave a job and move closer. But I do feel like there's a, there's a little bit of suspension here in terms of time. Like there's like they have to get out of whatever this is, but that page of pentacles shows up because I think you are going to be such a breath of fresh air for them. It's just going to be like homecoming. So you have here and, and you know, you've got it over here too on yours. It's definitely, a relationship about doing a little bit of waiting, but it's okay. I mean, it's it's going to happen. I like all the yellow too that I see here. That's Those are gifts from the universe coming in. So you have here water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you do have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So with the Empress, you know, there's a lot of nice things going on over here. The Empress strength and even the Four of Cups is, it's, it does not bother me. Um, the Empress is all about growth. It's, she's ruled by Venus. She's the mother of the tarot, but she's also the creator of the material world. So the Empress has this ability to draw things in and that's you. You're attracting I do feel like this person thinks you're really, I mean, they think you're hot. They are attracted. And I do feel like it creates this real longing. And it's like, especially if they're in a relationship or if it's like, I get for somebody, like somebody you met at work who was in a crappy relationship and wanted out of it anyway. And it's like, they can hardly stand being in this. They cannot get out of there soon enough. They, it's like they don't want to go home at night, especially if they're around you at work or they're around you in some other capacity. They really do have it for you. And that with that Empress energy, it's this just beautiful energy or field around you. And they can't deny it. I mean, and you know, if those things happen, it's life. Now, for some of you, they may not, it may not be somebody that's already, although I think that's pretty strong storyline here. I'll just say that. But if it's not somebody that already knows of you, they're going to be quite smitten and taken with you from a physical way, but also to like all the things that they've been missing in a relationship, they see in you and they, it really makes sense to them. So with this eight of, um, excuse me, strength card, it is an eight though in the tarot and that's about movement. With the strength card here, it really is about 
it's sort of it, it, what it really is about is is not only this sort of grace, this ability to have grace, and I feel like allow things to unfold. It's a card of patience. It's a card of knowing that you can overcome anything, that there's a solution to any problem. So for some of you, it also is a manifesting card with this infinity symbol that she wears as a crown. It's sort of like being born into this field of pure potentiality and really knowing that you can access it at any time and having the ability to do it. Because with this too, you know, she's the master of this lion, right? And and it's again, it's like being the master of your feelings, of your reality, and really knowing that you become what you think about. You are your thoughts. Your current reality is what you've been thinking and feeling collectively all the way along. Now, it's interesting with the Four of Cups here because that is a card of not wanting an offer, but in this case, too, it also can be boredom. And I feel like it is a little bit of a nod to waiting, kind of like, I'm kind of getting sick of this energy. Now, interestingly enough, though, all of these cards picture nature and growth. And so for some of you, I do feel like there's something about that, like getting outside. And, and too, that may be an avenue to meet somebody if you have, if you live in a warm enough place where there's eco walks and things going on and other things classes outside and things that you can be doing where you can meet people because somebody got pissed at me about saying, well, they're, we're back in a lockdown. Look, I live in one of the most restrictive states in the United States. I know about lockdowns, trust me. Um, and a lot of people feel like we're in this sort of um, tyrannical environment where I live. So, I mean, saying that that can't be predicted in the cards, that's not true. The cards are completely non-judgmental. The tarot doesn't care about a pandemic. I hate to say that. It's not to be insensitive. The cards, though, tell a story. So be aware of that because it's not necessarily my personal opinion as much as me getting the energy of the cards. So thank you for those of you that were willing to entertain that small rant because in the cards it is saying to get out. So with the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, this is the other person I undoubtedly they're walking away from something and it's like I get um, run don't walk <laughs> so whatever it is that they were in was not fulfilling and was full of conflict and they're so glad to be away from it I mean it, there's no love lost here they don't look back they don't carry their ex they don't want anything to do with it so I do feel like they're ready to move on I feel like they're ready to be in a relationship in this page of pentacles, there is an offer here. And again, the way that he looks at this pentacle is how I feel like they will look at you in this very admiringly way, admiring way. I also feel like this person is very stable, though, in terms of money. And it may be, too, in, in leaving a relationship, they may have lost a little bit of money. But I, I feel like they think it's worth it to get out of whatever this was. I don't feel at all like they are strapped for cash or unstable financially. I actually think they're pretty prudent with money. Um, but again, I do feel like there has some, there's something to do with nature here and being outside that's going to be relevant. And maybe it's just part of the relationship that that'll be something that you like to do together. But I do, it just keeps coming in. There's something about being outside. And I don't know if it's even getting outside of yourselves if that may have to do with it. But with this Page of Pentacles, he does bring in an element of fun and kind of whimsy too. There's desire here, okay? He has a strong desire. And in this relationship, I feel like this person has a very strong desire to find their soulmate. And they're going to be looking at you and looking at you seriously. They are on a mission. And it's like that's the one thing in their life that I feel like they haven't been fulfilled. And I feel like money, like I said, they've got good relationships with their family, with their friends. They might even be something like, I get like they have a higher degree, like a PhD or something like that, or like a highly skilled, they're highly skilled in whatever they do. I, again, I feel like they've been successful in every area, but relationships. And it's kind of like, you know, they're, they really are committed to finding the right person for them. And so here you go. You've got a new chapter here with this page of pentacles. Certainly that you could be attracting a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. 
you've got two with this Knight of Cups. They're manifesting it, and so are you. Somebody here is doing some visualizing where, and they're quite good at it. And it feels much like the like how Neville Goddard taught, where you really see yourself in the end. Let the universe deal with the heavy lifting and all the details. So it's not visualizing the text. It's not visualizing the chance encounter. It's visualizing the end, the relationship. And, you know, and at night, you know, you can spray your sheets lightly with lavender and quiet your mind and really visualize before you drift off to sleep and see yourself as if that person's in the bed with you. Really envision it and bring in all the tones of reality. That's what the Knight of Cups does. But he brings a big offer. He brings an offer, but it's also knowing. Knights are very well-intended. They are an energy that's very pure and committed. And so I do feel like in terms of wanting this thing, it comes from a very good place. It's somebody, too, who you're attracting the relationship is founded in integrity and... Um, like I said, this um, a commitment, a loyalty commitment. So with the three of wands, this is progress. This is in motion, but it's also waiting. So for some of you, it's waiting, but it's also waiting in a very kind of unbothered way, waiting with a surety that it will happen. And he stands and waits for his ships to come in, but he knows they're coming. He's not worried that they're lost at sea. He knows they're coming. He's just expecting them. And it's kind of like that for you. You get what you expect. So just expect it and know that it's ha it's here. It's on the way. And it's already yours. So again, with this page of pentacles, it's a relationship that's very stable. It's a new chapter, a new beginning, but it's one that's not only is it grounded, but I do feel like for um, some of you here, it really is about moving in together, about being in one house together, about living together and building a life and it's a solid life it's really all the things that you've wanted collectively so it's you've got love here yeah is it in the cards yeah it is but again i feel like they're peeling themselves out of something and um you know it could be something else besides just a relationship for somebody it's a change though they've got changed twice so even if it was like they were taking care of somebody or something like that something was very burdensome for them and they're going to be glad to be done with it i'll tell you that so thanks for indulging me too with my little stories you know if you ever go to a personal reading and you're paying somebody 40 or 50 dollars pay attention to how much they talk about other things like their own lives and things and i feel like people would really appreciate youtube readers because some of the in-person readings i mean my god they can get nutty it's like they don't have anybody to talk to or something and um, so anyway, <laughs> here we go, guys. You've got Ask Your Angels. So before you listen to any tarot, like I said, at night, you could visualize and ask and, and get the messages. But even before you watch readings, ask before you turn on the reading, what do I need to know? What do I need to see? And throughout the day, your angels will pop in and guide you. The universe wants to interact with you. The universe enjoys playing with you, so allow it to. Enjoy it when it happens, too. Have fun with it. We get so serious, don't we? So you have abundance here. And again, you've got with the Empress and even strength too, especially the Empress. So that's really a, a life of abundance with friendships, with food, with people, with every area of your life being full and rich and deep. So you've got here success. So this is to me like kind of like the chariot energy. It really is about moving forward, knowing who you are and allowing those things to come in. They say within the next few weeks. So boy, is there momentum taking shape here. Then you've got a yes, and it's emphatic yes. I haven't had this in a while. You have the moon in one hand and the sun in the other because you create your own reality. You're the center of your universe, Scorpio, and you can have, do, or be anything. So why not have love, right? You're definitely worth it. I love you so much, and I will be back again soon.